All right, Dale, there's been some sturm and drang as we head toward the playoffs with the distinct possibility that all of the top three seeds in the Eastern Conference are going to come from the Atlantic Division. To what I, to which I say, so what? First of all, what legitimately uh, contender, what legitimate contender for the Stanley Cup fears any opponent? And second, let's have a history lesson. Let's go back to the Montreal Canadiens dynasty in the 1970s. What was the best, uh, the second best team in the National Hockey League during that stretch? You're right, it was the Boston Bruins, which made those victories in the 1980s so sweet because heartbreak leads to great rivalries. And the fact that the Bruins had to get out of the Adams division gives that richness to the Boston-Montreal rivalry today, where you still feel that there's some crusty blood on the scab as it gets ripped off every single game of that rivalry. And that's why even Bruins-Montreal tickets in October are the first to sell out in the middle of July. The NHL, if it goes to a generic 1-8-2-7-3-6-4-5 setup in the playoffs, in the future years as the league becomes more and more generic with soon 32 teams that'd be a giant mistake go back to the old way one four two three in every division doesn't matter if your fifth place team has a better record than somebody else in some other division tough if you can't finish in the top half of your division you don't belong in the playoffs then play out of your division. The division winners play for the conference championship. The conference champions play for the Stanley Cup. That is the way to foment rivalries. I couldn't disagree with you more. <laughs> I think you're dead flat wrong on this one, Jack. I think that this year is, is an example year where two of the top three teams in the National Hockey League are going to be done after the second round of the playoffs. You cannot have either of those two teams play for an Eastern Conference championship. Two are going to be gone before you even get to the conference finals. They've got it dead wrong this year. 1-8 is much more fair, much more reasonable. And I know you're all cranked up about division rivalries. That's all you ever give us is division rivalries. Well, you got to get there first. Yeah. Well, here's the thing, Dale. If you go 1 8 2 7, you get such great matchups as, oh, say, Tampa Bay, Carolina. Hey, right? Who I doesn't mean, like you know, the Old South look, Least Division? Look, <laughs> look, look give, give the division games some meaning during the regular season. I mean, I can't wait for that Florida-Seattle rivalry to build, right? You know, some cockamamie guy is going to say, oh, we ought to go 116 in the first round, and the Bruins will draw the Los Angeles Kings and put in 40,000 miles of travel in the first round. I mean, play out of your division. That is what builds rivalries. We, we won't see the 116. That I can guarantee you because of the 40,000 miles that he's referring to. Could we see 1-8? Yeah, we could. Maybe, but yeah. I just don't think right now there is enough attitude or appetite from the NHL ownership who this they decide this along with their GMs. I just keep hearing, Jack and fellas, that there's not an appetite to go back to 1-8. And I, the only thing is, see, I'm still mixed. I, I absolutely want everybody to have to play everybody during the regular season. I do, because like it or not, it helps make the league better. The league's better. If you really want to get down to brass tacks, it's better for all of us. And I'm pointing at all yeah. you too, Jack, because it's better for all of us the more money everybody makes. I'm talking the players, the owners, etc. But when it's all said and done, I think that if, if they're going to do the divisional thing, like Jack is saying, you actually have to up the amount of games in the regular season yes. that you play in division. So I'm, I'm torn on it. I get the bit of rivalry, Barry. I just don't know where to go with it. Yeah, but I think the rivalries to me are made in the playoffs, not necessarily in the regular season. And I think if you go one through eight, to me, that's a much fairer system. Uh, I just don't like the fact that you're going to lose two of the top yeah. four teams in the first round in the East. That, to me, also, Jack, the problem with that is that a lot of times then your regular season games don't mean as much uh, if, unless you're going that one through eight. However, I truly, truly believe they have to look at this because I do believe, maybe not agreeing with the divisions that Jack talks about, but we've been talking about it all year long, 
The key is the rivalry. The keys are the intensity. And when you repeat those teams that you're playing against, all of a sudden there's a little bit of hatred there. Jack, we will continue this discussion over an adult beverage at some time real <laughs> soon, okay? Yeah, a parting shot. How big are every, uh, is every Bruins game to a Toronto fan right now? Division. All right. Keep it up. We'll keep arguing I about it. I guess he's not buying the drink, Bill. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs>